Time for some AI news. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? Things in the AI development move at light speed right now. Here is a project from Meta AI, which is Facebook Zuckerberg. They are creating AI where you can generate videos from text. This is super important for them, of course, as a social media company, as an ad company, as a company for creators. This is really, really mind blowing. Now, here we have some examples. You can see the prompt over here. We have a robot dancing in Times Square. Of course, this is an early development, so all of the elements are not 100% perfect. But from what you see, this is absolutely stunning. I'm so in love with this. You see here Times Square, the advertisements changing, people walking in the background, the robot actually dancing. This is really, really great. A cat watching TV with a remote. How cool is that? It's a human hand, but never mind that. A fluffy baby sloth. I love how really that looks how the shadow changes on the face look out at the change here of the lighting also how the hand moves this is just incredible here we have some realistic elements and when you look at that brush painting you can see actually the color changing the color moving on the canvas imagine how fast things move six months along the line how much this will be more realistic this is absolutely stunning. Look at how they move in sync, how the movement of the legs looks correct, looks good, and the reflection of their legs on the wet ground. This is just mind blowing to me because even mid journey, even stable diffusion has problems with the reflection. This is working great. Also look up here at their umbrella, shaking around, changing the form from the volume. Really, really interesting. There we have a horse drinking water again with the reflection down here in the water. Pretty cool. Even the muscles here are moving. The eye is moving moving here, the eyelid. This is so, so cool. Let's go here to stylized. Also, that looks a little bit like a 80s movie, but you have a shadow moving under the UFO. So that also is pretty cool. Again, here we have an oil painting. This reminds me a little bit of the video animations you can do with stable diffusion right now, especially how the clothing of both characters here is morphing. But the movement of the legs again is pretty good. I love that. For this one, the cool thing is when you look at the prompt, it's about an emoji. So this is the interesting thing. You can create your own emojis, create a meme, share that with your friends and respond to this situation, to the emotion you're having right now. So we are moving from text into images even more with our language. Mind blown. It gets even better because we have image to video. Here we have a classic painting of a boat in a storm. And then this is the animation. Look how the water is pushed away by the boat. We also have pairs of images. Look at that. So we have these kind of asteroids here. Look how amazing they move. The younger me back in the early days of video gaming would have been blown away by an animation like this. And now this is created from two photos that indicate to the AI how things are moving in space. Here we have a family with a child. Again, you can see the difference in movement between the two. So the AI can adjust from that to make Make this a walking animation into the sunset. This is absolutely incredible. Of course, if you know about Meta and their Meta space development, you know that they do a lot of research into AI. Here, for example, we have something where you can paint something. It creates images in different styles. Here are some beautiful examples of very crude cat drawings being turned into amazing sculptures of cats. Really beautiful. You can imagine how useful that can be for product design for ideas for creatives out there. But even for Facebook advertisement, this is a great application. And here we have a post from July 14th where Mark Zuckerberg is showing the input. Now pay attention to the video and you can see that he is defining the colors and what the colors are to the AI. That is a really smart move to do it that way. And then when the image is created, you can see here we have these surfboards and the sky and the beach and everything is always the same, but they are different variations because the AI knows which color is supposed to represent which part of the image. 
absolutely genius move. Let's go to the next thing. Corridor Crew has released a video where they trained the AI to know their faces. These are the results. So they had a photo input, as you can see here, different photos, training the AI on it. You can do that too right now in the cloud, also local. And then when the AI knows who you are, you see there is a name connected to that. You can input that and create different styles that look exactly like you. You can see here with the sculpture, with the drawing, with pop art, all these kind of things. It's called Dream Booth. You can use that in the cloud to train the AI and then download the model or you can install this locally on your computer if you have a beefy computer. The next update here is coming from Robomar. He is my eye in the sky. Follow him on Instagram. He listened to the Midjourney office hours, what news they have for the development. So the Midjourney team bought their own supercomputer to train the models faster. They are working on 12 different models right now to get it better, more perfect, faster. And this is also one of their big goals because they want to release a new beta in about a week or two. The time frame is very open, so don't depend exactly on that. But what they are very much focusing on is that they have more speed, more quality and a bigger batch size. Now, I am personally absolute a fan of the bigger batch size because it allows you to try out more prompts and more ideas while not having to sit in front of your computer for it to finish to render. So that is amazing. And I'm really looking forward forward to how much these results improved. They are really, really amazing already. Another thing that is really cool that they're working on is to localize Midjourney more, especially in the Asian area, so people can use their native language to speak to the AI for the text input. That is really beautiful. Another thing that is coming from the Midjourney team is a new website. Now people will be invited to test that when they have over 10,000 Midjourney images. So put in these prompts to push your numbers high to get that invite. What they want to do there is to have a better web interface and also the ability to use Midjourney via the website where they can also control better the different forms of input and sliders and all these kind of things. I'm not sure exactly what they're doing, but they're saying it's going to be really cool. Don't worry, they will also keep the Discord input for everybody who likes that. Personally, I'm a big fan of that because I can use it on my smartphone, on all of the computers, and I don't have to worry about anything. Also, here's some experimentation I did with Stable Diffusion. Join me on Sunday for my live stream to check out more of that. I used a very slight version of in painting to adjust the photos for the skin, for the eye color, for the tan. It's not always super realistic, but it's a good start. As someone coming from photography, I'm absolutely impressed by that. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it and see you soon. Bye.